This is why, and whatever else is sounding in your concaphonous life, you must remove yourself from that rumble of distraction to a clearing where souls are gathered with the agenda of honesty. This is first and foremost a call from that clearing. There will be words beseeching you to follow beyond their linear vapor trail of form and content to their home in the open sky of awareness. You might catch a cadence in the words streaming at you from under the spotlight and feel a rhythmic possibility which will guide you along a path painted by a stranger leading to a landscape you would have otherwise not imagined. A town square where the high noon, ca the high noon sun casts no shadows and the town folk know everything, including your deepest secrets. A mountain path descending densely into thickets so close and enveloping you do not feel the need to breathe. This is then and now forever always merging in an implosion of remembrance. The grand paradigm, Leela, the dance of life. This is the plunge beyond paradox emerging into the brilliant clarity of intention. This is a wake-up call. Wake up and catch the meaning. Wake up and feel the intimacy. Wake up and hear the harmony. Wake up and see the connections. Wake up and smell the poetry. Thank you. This poem talks about the spirit of love and the spirit of music which the rain creates. Ode to Rain. O oh, water from the heavens, how I love the grace in which you fall. You quench earth's thirst. You bring us life. Droplets dancing in the sky. Partnered with neighboring winds, a ballet nothing short of divine. O oh, water from the heavens, you caress from the sky like the pounding hooves of a horse. How I love the music you create. You bless us with your symphony, a gentle splat for woodwinds a heavy pound for brass. Your good friend Thunder joins in on bass, adding lightning's flashes. The concert is complete. Oh, water from the heavens, how I love the serenity you create. You wash away the stress like the sun washing away clouds after a treacherous storm. You cleanse out the soul, carefree and without worry, while you gently kiss our skin, a total state of bliss to contemplate our lives. Encounter at the sink. When I walk into the kitchen to start the dishes, the mold in my insincorator says, Carla, you're not a poet. <laughs> I know, I say, a writer. I've been a writer all my life. But you or any editor worth their spores would say otherwise. <laughs> I took a hard look at your mechanism yesterday, felt around the blade smooth, ran the motor, heard the teeth chewing and spitting loud enough to scare my fingers back into my pockets. I couldn't find you, Mold. Now I'm reminded of baking soda and bleach, all the good I can do in this world to kill spores, to get rid of you. You laugh, here to stay. I will skirt your bleach, 
you're not a writer. You're not even a mathematician. You can count on that. Nice try. One time, pumpkin seeds sprouted from the disposal drain. That, I thought, was inspiring. Something so fresh and vibrant, so full of water and green, germinated from seeming nothing. Nothing? What am I, chopped liver? A dark, dank, growing medium. I'm alive, and things spring from me. Woman's art. How can they believe children aren't lonely? As though all of the angelic pink of Morisot and Cassette, children in pretty clothes with lovely mamas, as though children worth painting canvas are born well to do. I draw the poor, desolate, and thin. I show you the children dressed in skin, denuded of joy. That is the way it is outside your salons. The drawings for the Salon de la Nationale des Beaux-Arts, 25 April 1894, I choose with care. My first showing, the only woman to exhibit. My step from model to artist, my models Maurice and mother Madeline, grandmother and grandson not lovingly entwined. We have had enough of mes dames masquerading as Madonnas with their sweet enfants wearing contented smiles. I draw the children Zola and Dode prepare in words. The children who labor, who tire, smiles more rare than jewels. I am the first, a woman untrained, unfathered by any artist. I am the first to reveal what makes you uneasy. Let the art that fills our lives surround our children's cradles with poetry. The critics say what I am doing is not woman's art, nothing pretty or pleasing, but sullen, awkward poses, ignoring conventions, unadorned and unselfconscious. I say they are alive. Quiet in the day dawn dark, Reflectively, as I start, gentle chimes, the breath of time, out my window, some small bird its winter nest packs to build, no wait. They've gathered here, running along the inside of my awning, as if to duck the coolness of the dawning, or maybe in curiosity to stare in the window at my candle here. We must seem odd creatures to them, huddling inside and changing our clothes on a whim, playing with fire and not understanding the simple truths of nature, always taking shelter from it. They sing and call and pass their wisdom over the housetop, fly without compunction or wonder high above, commune with thunder, while we put on roofs and coats and lights, keeping out the cold and night. Have creatures always sought to hide and shelter from the nature of their birth? Born defenseless, each one begins with no knowledge of the danger it is in, nor seeks to shelter and protect itself, just opens first to wonder at being here and then we learn to fear. All of us scrounge for food, shelter, and protection, strive to keep alive. Whatever would happen if we didn't? Would we live in complete utopia or die like stranded jellyfish on the beach and simply cease to exist? Overload, tired, weary, 
paper thin, noise sensitive. Noise not irritating, not annoying. Open window, bird song, traffic swish, motorcycle loud, muffled. People, soft conversation snatches, children laughing. Brittle hard, anger, temper, tantrum, energy I can't afford. Anger, temper, tantrum, energy I can't afford to burn. Keeps me going, paralyzed, damaged. Readjustment, acceptance, yet again, why? Vertigo. Circle revolves again, compass corrections. And one more quick one. I try to walk in the mornings to go buy paper, newspapers. I'm still a dinosaur. And um, sometimes, you know, you're just walking along and you're not really thinking about anything specific at all. And you get to your destination and you go, how did I get here? And then you walk back and it's pretty much the same process. So this is walking somewhere specific. Walking somewhere specific, not quite here, not quite there yet, doldrums, floating cloud inertia, zephyr, waiting, on hold, floating cloud, doldrums, not there yet, not quite here, somewhere specific, walking. Thank you. For Anne, June 4, 1999. I have been thinking lately about who I am. I mean, not the little man who I imagined lives somewhere upstairs, feverishly working the wheels and levers of my brain, watching the movie, keeping track or not of sight and sound and touch and smell. Not the genie in the bottle of my brain, but my brain itself. The thing I know is, after all, both bottle and genie. As near as I can understand it, what I am is not so much the parts, neurons and chemical transmitters, as the linkings made and remade and rearranged, a mutable network of interconnections that somehow constitute who it is who wakes in this bud-burst green spring morning with you beside me. Connections made frequently enough form pathways, receptors stimulated very many times by the same axons or more easily stimulated in the future. So patterns are formed, become linked. The map grows deeper and more complex. For more than half my life, I have been weaving you into this net. What happens when I stand up, cross a room, open a door, or when I simply breathe this morning air is neither more nor less than the singing of these evolving and intertwining structures. The touch of your hand on my shoulder then, my perception of it, resonates deeply in this unfathomable complexity. Which synapses are you and which are me? Love. The truth is, there is no one watching the movie. The genie is out of the bottle. There is no way to tease apart the strands of these patterns. No conceivable way that I can ever again be a me without being an us. Thanks. On remote roads to mysterious past, Fahara Butte emerges powerfully permeating my consciousness, sparking startling sensations, wonder. Silence welcomes me, allows me to hear singing wind, voices of ancestral stones, chirping birds amid sagebrush Dusty desert sand is a feast for the eyes, reds, browns, white, against blue skies. 
rocks with faces, symbolic shapes, animal petroglyphs, reminders of every culture, sculptured by time's blowing sands. Architecture celebrates relationships to elements, wind to the land, window to the sky, stairways to heaven. Looking plunges me to deep introspection. My mind jumps through doors of possibility, realizing what gifts were left for future generations. I visualize them all here, feel them at my side, Lemurians, Atlanteans, even survivors of Maldique and Mars, coming from Middle Earth to participate in Shaco. Everyone visits here from the near and far of every dimension. Progressing through the remains becomes head-shaking, heart-swelling, awe, speechless knowing, abiding faith blooms like a flower amidst volcanic treasures. I am feeling spirit's revelation of human purpose. Shaco takes heart and mind to timelessness. Freedom's gate opens the way to creation world of infinite doorways. Now, growing older each second of the day, I welcome sloth and torpor to come in and stay. We observe the neighbors and their to-do lists in hand. They rise early, mow lawns, blow leaves, and lay bricks in sand. As if that's not enough, Branches are trimmed and weeds whacked. Then with chainsaws started, all trees fall, the wood neatly stacked. With torpor and sloth, I never notice paint peeling off house. They've restored my ease. No antidotes do I need in order to please. My attempt to be funny. Thank you. This is called My Own Private Lowell. <laughs> my Own Private Lowell's got five and dime telephone poles that splinter and tilt from working all night. Street names from where you came to expect cheap coffee literary references of moody streets crossing some sad sack old river to railroad tracks that relic rust and tall grass that's perpetually brown. My own private lol, she is long-necked and tall-boyed, mainly stained glass. Her bug-eyed red checkered shirts hover over the seaberg, spitting adjectives that someone 25 years ago thought would be the final word for all time after them. She is Marshall Tucker Budweiser and still standing after eight presidents, four wars, a pension for both versions of Proud Mary. <laughs> And one of those versions of Danny Boy. And when all them vets of every conflict since Korea start to free bird, start to sing, everybody gets all national anthem misty eyed or maybe even drunk with respect. That's when my private Lowell likes to say that you could see all your possibilities standing right there before you, like how you could have been or when you came to be, or more accurately, how you might still end up in this last minute, 32 seconds of this final quarter. The waitress is swallowing orders from the gap-toothed mouths of the great Massachusetts miracle and all its Marlboro man ambience. My own private Lowell drills diamond hard lines deeper into the salty earth of her everyday smile. She's got space for rent, weekends at Revere Beach, and license plates from New Brunswick or Quebec. 
And bear tree naked truths for all four seasons that stare you straight in the face, no matter where you turn your head or where you plant your feet. She's a constant reminder of the 80s, a wrought iron redux playing, ringing around the rosy with the jobless on the commons. A bus ride that humbles one so completely down that world beat bargain basement museum called Main Street. Budget cut faces, pastel shaded houses playing chicken with the spring river and got the same pale complexion as anvil clouded skies. She's the Ben hearing gone reminder of the do you remember when every warm classic rock night down by the bridge rail. Ah, but my private lull, she's only sleeping. Her art deco retail memory beckons, so snatch her please from alongside those ghosts down by the river next to the only real neighbors you'll ever know. All Sears paint and stretch pants. No teeth, no money, but so full of uninitiated compassion, the culture vultures cross the pike, never really knew and never seemed to have. But still she smiles when they talk some stuff about how the wise man is greater than the mayors of the ten greatest cities, cause, oh yeah, she's the all-knowing square one of that game, Jack. Her car's yawning and stuttering to church and back and back and forth again past the five and dime telephone poles in that wicked cool dollar store with the can't get enough of that rotary phone. Yep, she's the stranger with a handshake. Always got a cold one for you. And still working all night long. Thank you. My love for you cannot stay unknown I must be with you, this is destiny You got power over me A roller coaster up and down again Cannot be apart, we're lovers and we're friends. I don't mind, down deep I believe. You got power over me. We're the candle and the moth, I'm steering to Inside the fire in a burst of energy You got power over me Inside the fire in a burst of energy Juliet, this is Romeo My love for you cannot stay unknown I must be with you, this is destiny. You got power over me. You got power over me. You got power over me.
the round. Light splashed this morning on the shell pink anemones swaying on their tall stems. Down blue spiked Veronica, light float in rivulets over the humps of the honeybees. This morning, I saw the light kiss the silk of the roses in their second flowering. My late bloomers flushed with their brandy. A curious gladness shook me. So I have shut the doors of my house. So I have trudged downstairs to my cell. So I am sitting in semi-darkness, hunched over my desk, with nothing for a view to tempt me, but a bloated compost heap, steamy old stink pile, under my window. And I pick up my notebook, and I start to read aloud the still wet words I scribbled on the blotted page. Light splashed. I can scarcely wait till tomorrow when a new life begins for me, as it does each day, as it does each day. Yeah.